we've got some youth coming up that from all parts of the country and to me that that's our future yeah that's what it is we really future. really need to dwell on and that's what we need to fight for because these kids deserve the same thing we had yes because growing up there wasn't nothing like going to the walking horse show nope you're exactly right and, and it just i don't know you just look forward to saturday night friday night or a three-night show and then when the celebration come i mean it was like a 10 days of a carnival just yes having a good times every night but here we go now these, these youth right here is what our future depends on right here's ruth collins i do believe this is equitation i'm not 100 percent sure but i believe it is i told cj i don't want the names of the horses because i don't care i'm talking about the youth yes and what they mean to this industry and what we need to do to make sure that there's an industry for them and battling this lawsuit is one of the things that will guarantee that these kids will have a future. Oh, yeah. There's Kate Cowan. This is equitation. But these, these youngsters are important to our future. Now, they are. They're very important to our future. Well, the biggest thing of it to me with this youth and the way the world is today, Jerry, it gets them from the TV, playing video games or whatever. They out there enjoying an animal and learning, you know, how to take care of stuff and how to ride and everything else. It, it means it means it a means lot. a lot. Right there is Cade McAllister. These, these youngsters right here, they, they deserve their time in the saddle for the future. Yes. And it's up to us to see that they get it. And that's why donating to the FAST Legal Fund, attending these shows, fighting for the future. Here's Reef. Now, here, look at her family. Look at her family tree. Yes. Look at who her dad is, her grandfather, uh -huh. her grandmother uncles aunts all of them and then now here's this young lady yeah. she's out there so i've even seen her working with her dad chewing horses uh-huh <laughs> i mean that that's that's our future that's right harper grider look at her family mm -hmm. i mean you, you look at the tree and then you look at these youngsters and what they mean to this industry I mean, her dad trains horses. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, it, it, it's just, I, I don't know. I, I look at it and I say, our future, this is it. And we need to fight for it. Callie Duvall. To me, this is what we're fighting for. I mean, we all of us want to keep our show horse. But this, this needs to be the number one topic of our battle is what it means to our youth and the future. Well, it's just like a lot of us that's in this horse business today, we were raised up in it as a kid, and you, now the ones that raised up then got kids, they want their kids to be raised up in it. Here's Frank, Frank Clark. Frank's a good football player too, buddy. You know, look at his look at his parents, his yes. dad and his granddad and stuff like that raised up in this horse business. Uncles, aunts. Yeah. I mean, Dead, but multi-time celebration judge, horse yeah. trainer. Just uh, our future. Emory Sims. Yep. You know her mom. Her uh, grandmother, all of them was up in his horse business, raised up in his horse business and stuff. This is, this is what we're fighting for, folks. Yeah. Everybody needs to know that. These kids.
the youth, the future. Madeline Cannon. And I know we're not going to have ever youth that's in this industry. We're not going to have them on here, and I know that. We're, some of them we're going to miss, but I'm still thinking about them. Yes. Here, Tucker Johnson. His family, been Tell in the business for a long Susie, time. Yeah. Her husband. I mean, and now it's their turn. Yeah. So, and that's what we need to fight for. We need to fight for these kids. That's our future. I just wish there was more programs we could come up with to get kids involved. Bentley Baum. His whole family, well, yes, everybody. Year, his one. grandmother. Man, he made a heck of a show tonight, making our Blue Ribbon ride for class number five, our youth 11 and under. It's entry number 722, a bit of change, and Bentley Baum for Jacob Baum of Shelbyville. A bit of change, and Bentley Baum, entry number 722. Man, we watched his dad yes. ride uh -huh. when he was that big. That's right. Maxine Beasley. How many years have we watched her? In the That's Saturday? right. Mm -hmm. All the way from lead line. That's right. Now she's 16 years old. Yeah. But she still deserves the rest of her life right. being mm -hmm. able to ride these horses. Her and her sister both. And here's BB. I just believe with these kids, we fight for this industry. Our, our yeah. future is in good hands with them. I mean, they they love to ride. Yeah, they get out there and hey. Can't have this without him. That's right. Eli Cunningham. I mean, that's what I'm saying, but I mean, his family been in this business for a long time. Oh, tell me about it. His mother was a rider. Yep, now he's riding. And believe it or not, his granddaddy was a rider. Yep. And it was a pretty good, was a real good one. You ain't gonna brag on that one. No, I, I don't wanna brag on too much. It might get hit, might get Allie hit. Joe Jacobs. Yep. Now here's one that if you put a saddle on it, she'll ride it. Yep. And a lot of those kids are the same way. Uh-huh. But she she doesn't care if it's flat shot or performance. Some of them won't perform it. Some of them won't flat shot. Some of them have their preference. Allie Joe, yeah. she has no preference. Put a saddle on it, I'll ride it. Yeah but it's a horse and that's what everybody needs to realize that's one of the things i love more than anything is, is, and there's abby smith her family yeah mm -hmm. very involved that was one of my favorite time, things to do when i was a kid yeah ride a pony Later on, I rode a horse. I've even rode a mule. Yeah. If I could ride it, I'd, I'd go, I'd ride it. Just, uh, Caroline Wesley Way. That's the yep. other one, her family. Her family, yeah, that's right. I just wish there was a way that we could put every one of them on here that, cause all of them mean a bunch. Oh yeah. I mean, every one of these kids are just, what can I say, it's, it's our future. And we need to protect this industry for them. And 
the last 22 years, I've watched a lot of them grow up. Look there. That's right. And right there, the whole family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the whole family. She looks just like her mother. Oh, yeah. Riley Nichols. Tell you what, I mean, her, I mean, that, uh, uh, yeah, her family team, that's too. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody, you just when you look, Levi Parker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I think of the chance that. Uh, there's people that don't want this for these yeah. kids. That really, it really gets to me. Oh, yeah. Boston Kate Tillman. Mm hmm. That's BKT. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, her dad and stuff like that. And family, family, family. Been in the whole business for a long time. Yep. They've been in the industry, worked in the yep. industry, doing. So th these are things that, that I just. People sit back and look. You know, this horse keeps these kids busy. That's right. They're not out getting in trouble, running the streets. They're at horse shows. Harper Lawrence, Shane Porterfield's granddaughter. Uh -huh. He's looking for a future for them. Matter yep. of fact, he's bought different horses for their future so they can ride. There's Harper Lawrence. I look back at, from lead line all the way up to kids that have graduated on up. Yeah. Into, and, and it's just amazing that once they get hooked on a horse, it's kind of like they stay hooked. They hook, hook. yeah, you're right. Harlan Lawrence, that's the other granddaughter. Mm -hmm. You may have some that leave the horse for a while, but then you look up and they're, they're back. back. Yeah. <laughs> they're right, right back. <laughs> I know Shane wants a future in horses oh, yeah. for them. Wilder way. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but he is getting into this horse. Mm -hmm. and you look at his family. I mean, there's a circle there. That's right. His aunt, his mother, his grandfather, his father. Yep. Yeah, I believe his father was the youngest guy that won the celebration, wasn't it? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Elliot Way. We just keep bringing them. Yeah. I believe you're right. But, um. Super stock, wasn't it? No, the touch. Touch, touch, that's right. Mm -hmm. Now 
Well, I'm old. I'm allowed to make a mistake. <laughs> Am I black? Yep. Look at her family. I know. I'd re I'm going to tell you, it, in all honesty, a lot of times when you're at a horse show, the youth classes are the best classes. Yes, that's right. Because they, a lot of the times, they have the better horses. horses. Mm hmm. And very few of them that you can look at and say, well, they can't ride. Cause yeah. every one of them can flat ride a horse. Of course, that's you exactly right. She sets a horse like a trainer. Yeah. Mm hmm Sets back in that deep seat. Skylin Wilson. Yeah. That young lady is equine horse inside oh, and yeah. out. Mm -hmm. She goes to a Christian school in Huntsville, and uh, she does reports on horses. Very nice young lady. Yes. That's, that's what I'm. That's where it's That's at. what we're fighting for, mm -hmm. people. So, get with fast, jump in there, help build the battle. We'll get it done, folks. This is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. 